Hey folks, Crazy Marty here. Uh, today I want to do a little review on my dog crates that I got. I got a pair of uh, Impact dog crates. These things are super, super nice dog crates. They're FAA approved, so they've got these little, these little bumper things here on the fronts and on the back. So this way, if you throw the dogs in these things and throw them on a plane, uh, if they when they stack them into stuff, that there's still room for air to flow through, so the dog doesn't die on the way to wherever. So. Uh, let's go into these things and show you what they got. So this is an impact dog crate. Uh, you got protected corners and they're set up the way you can see right here. They're made so you can stack them in there. Of course, everything's dusty because we just came back from doing a two-week test run on everything. You can, you can stack these things up. They have... Uh, holes right here on the on the side so when you stack them up you can just put a, a retaining clip between them and it holds everything holds them holds them all nicely stacked up i have them set up where they're just held down by a couple of ratchet straps they go down between the ammo cans down here there's set them down there uh the doors on these things their fit and finish on these doors is really really nice so there's your your inside lock. You know, it's stainless steel. It's all aluminum. It's all aluminum construction, powder coated, with a, a shot peen finish type of type of deal on there. Very nice construction. These are these are side doors, as you can see, because I needed to be able to load the dogs in the side versus on the ends where the doors would normally be. One thing I did discover is that you can add fans. These are 80 millimeter computer fans. I believe these are 80 millimeter. And they fit right on the little squares, almost absolutely perfect. All I had to do is take a little, a little file and open up the corners a little bit and the fans went right on there. And I'll show you how I held those on. Let's get in here. Here's how I held it on on the inside. I just used the fan guard and little, uh, bolts that go in there and it holds it in there so the dogs are not going to get anything stuck into the fan these things are really 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 nice i just threw a couple of moving blankets in here to work with the dogs and everything in here is is really i mean they're really really well protected so in case of a crash or something these dogs they're not going to get hurt too bad those get jostled around a little bit but uh overall these things are some super super duper crates they're made of all aluminum they have uh handles are are, are spring loaded so they pop back down into position so you stack them up the handles are out of the way they're they're really 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 nice dog crates i i i don't know i've never had dog crates like this for, before that's for sure these things are, this is like their medium size, I think. So I can I can fit multiple multiple dogs into the into the back of the trailer. I can get up to four of them into this thing. The way I've got everything designed and built, so should be okay. So those are my impact dog crates. Uh, they're like I said, they're made in the USA. They're a little bit more expensive than. Uh, your standard dog crate they're definitely not the plastic ones and those little cheap ass metal ones i looked for months to try to find a dog crate for my dogs because you know they're they're my they're my babies so i'll show you a video here of a buddy of mine he came over to the house just after i got him they were in the house and he was like really surprised on how well they're made and how light they are so here's this video in the meantime guys if you're going to get dog crates, get an impact dog crate. These things are the best. I mean, these things, how, how can you beat these things? These things, you know, you can get them with, you can get them with side doors, end doors. You can get them in all sorts of different colors and things of that nature. So in the meantime, here's my buddy. I'm Crazy Marty. Bye-bye. What is what? This material. It's so light. That's insane. That's ridiculous. Oh, poor Bronx. <laughs> Buddy. These are cool, man. They're aluminum. They look like little mini jail cells. Oh, what are you doing? Mm. 
So what do you think of the construction quality? Oh, and you can stack them too. I saw that. Hence the spring-loaded recess, which means they must have a pocket on the bottom now. What are these things for? Uh, those are so you can put them in airline, so you can fly your dogs. So this is like some sort of... Yeah, it's an FAA requirement. What does it do? Uh, yeah, the FAA says it does something. This one doesn't have it because I'm waiting for it to come in. But this one has it right here. This one's got two of them in the front. Yeah, this one has two in the front and one in the back. I'm waiting for... I've got one that's coming in. Oh, you know what? I know exactly what this is. I know what that is. What? That is a requirement so that these boxes don't get placed too close to other boxes, cutting off the air circulation, thus killing your dog, thus you have a lawsuit against the company. And how do you know this? Because that's the only smartest thing I can think of. That because you have a license to fly drones. Yeah. So you should know that. <laughs> <laughs> that's